Xi Jinping was 32 years old when he first visited the United States in 1985, leading an agricultural delegation to the small town of Muscatine, Iowa. The future president of China stayed with a local family in this unassuming home at 2911 Bonnie Drive. The house is now owned by two Chinese businessmen, Glad Chung and Daniel Wong. It did have well, warmly welcomed by local, local people. And in Muscatine, they stay, in present she's staying here two nights and three days. The men are now opening the house to the public, dubbing it the Sino-U.S. Friendship House. So it's a house, but if we can make it as a friendship house, it will be very good to help American to know more about China and Chinese to know more about America. The walls chronicle Xi's visit and his return to Muscatine in 2012. Some of the furniture from 1985 even remains. During his time in Iowa, Xi Jinping stayed in this bedroom and slept in this bed. I'm going to put the pictures on here. Wang immediately knew the house was someplace special. Oh, amazing. <laughs> uh, I, I, I can say, I, I can say nothing but just a kind of amazing because when people told me, well, this is the house um, President Xi will stay here and this is the bedroom which, which President Xi stayed. I mean, yeah, just maybe amazing. He now splits his time between Iowa and Shanghai and is investing in a hotel in Muscatine that will cater to Chinese tourists. Which is the main room. He hopes the Friendship House will present new opportunities to bridge the divide that sometimes exists between people in China and the U.S., drawing on President Xi's special connection with Iowa. In this letter to the Landys, she writes, only a world filled with friendship can be a world of peace. Do you think this house will help with those friendships? <laughs> Absolutely. High hopes that peace can bloom in small town America.